What's up everyone? Today we're going to go over lead code 859 buddy strings. First, we'll go over the input and the output, then we'll look at the approach, and finally we'll look at the code and complexity. The input is going to be two strings and the output is going to be a boolean true or false. This problem is more of just looking at the input and output cases that they gave us rather than doing any type of known algorithm. So our job is to find true or false, whether we can take one of the input strings and turn it into the second one by swapping at most two characters. So we have to swap the characters. Let's look at the cases. The first one, AB and BA is gonna be true because we can swap A and B to get this one. For this one, we can swap B and C to get the second string. For this one, we can swap A and A, and they're go both going to be the same because A and A are the same letters. So we're allowed to do that. Here, if we swap A and B, we won't get the second string. So this is false. And finally, if we have two strings that are different lengths, we're going to have false because it doesn't matter what we swap. We can never make one string equal to the other. The input is actually split into three categories. We can have either different strings, and then we check to see if we can swap them, or we could have the same strings, and then we see that if there's any duplicates or not. And finally, we have different length strings. If we have different length strings, we're always going to have an output of false. If we have the same strings, but we can have a duplicate letter, then we have output of true. Otherwise, it's going to be false. So here, A is duplicated, so all we need to see is at least one character which has a count greater than one. And if we have different strings, we have to see if the numbers, uh, the letters in the positions, so A and B can be swapped around. Similarly here, B and C, B and C can be swapped around. So all we have to do is keep track of the letters that are different, make sure that they're different in only two spots and that we can swap them around and make both of the strings equal to each other. Here's a flowchart which would make the code easy to understand. First, we check if they're different lengths. We're always gonna return false. Otherwise, if they're, say, they're the same strength, <coughs> we're gonna check for duplicate characters and we'll use a hash map for that. And finally, if they're different strings, it's gonna be true only if the positions can be swapped and they can only be different in two positions. So we have to check what are the actual positions? Can they be swapped? And we have to make sure that they're only differing by two positions. Otherwise, we're gonna return false. Here's our code. So we take our strings and first check their length. If they're different, we return false. Otherwise, we initialize our map and our list of integers to keep track of the positions where the strings might possibly differ. Then we begin iterating and we keep track of the actual characters. And if they're not, if they're not the same, we're going to add it to our list of integers to say, okay, this is a particular position where they are different. Then we keep our frequency counter, which is just a map. And then finally we iterate out of the loop and then we check if the, both the strings are equal. And if they are, we go through our counter and see if there's at least one letter which is repeating. And if the count is greater than one, we return true. Otherwise we return false because we've established that they're both equal and there's no repeating characters to swap safely once. Then, other, then if that doesn't work out either, what we do is we check the size of our list and if the, letter, the strings differ in more than two spots, then we're gonna return false. Otherwise, we're gonna say, okay, we know that they differ in two spots. Let's find out the positions and then let's use those positions to actually swap the letters and finally see if the uh, letters, if the strings could be the same if they actually get swapped. And if everything checks out, then we return true. Otherwise, if one of these doesn't check out, then we return false. You can check the code in the link below. The time and space complexity are gonna be as follows. The time is gonna be O of L, which is the length of the word, and the space complexity is going to be O of K, which could be the number of unique characters. So that's how you solve LeetCode 859. If you like the video, please thumbs up. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe.